really beautiful ketubah, but in order for you to be able to present it to your bride, you actually have to acquire possession of it. And although you've engaged in services of a really talented artist to create your ketubah, because I'm the masider, the person who runs the proceedings today, technically speaking, therefore, the ketubah belongs to me. Now, although you're a nice guy, I can't simply say, would you like a ketubah so you can give it to your bride? You actually have to acquire possession of it. It's called Kabbalat Kinyan, a method of acquisition, whereby you actually acquire possession of the ketubah. So what will happen is, uh, in order for Kabbalat Kinyan to take place, I'm going to extend this handkerchief to you, your righty or lefty. Lefty. I'm going to extend it to your left hand and ask you if you're willing and ready to take upon yourself all the responsibilities and privileges entailed within this ketubah. And when I ask you that question, it's really important that you say yes. You gotta say yes. <laughs> as soon as you say yes, possession transfers from me symbolically through the handkerchief to you. You acquire possession of it, thus freeing our two witnesses to actually sign the ketubah itself. So that's what it is that you're about to see and the reasons for it. Now, in order for this to happen, the two of you acting as witnesses today need to actually witness the fact that the, that the Khatan has acquired possession of the ketubah. In order for this to happen, first, first we need to establish that you will be serving as our witnesses, as our Adim today. So I need to ask you a couple of questions, a couple of questions, nothing personal. I ask this to all the witnesses. Question number one, are you directly related to each other? No. Are you directly related to either the bride or the groom? No. Are you reliable? Yes. Yeah. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> He's a lawyer, I'm not sure. And um, you do this of your own free will with an open heart? Yes. Okay. Having established that you act as witnesses, we're going to do Kabbalat Kinyan. The custom is because this is done in an open and upstanding fashion, the two of us are going to stand and bride remains seated. Groom, in front of these two witnesses and in front of your family and friends, I ask you, are you willing and ready to take, to take upon yourself all the responsibilities and privileges entailed within this ketubah? Yes, I do. Okay. See? Gentlemen, you've witnessed the fact that he's acquired possession. Yes. yes. You're supposed to go. Now you can sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's going to Just copy it as is. And you don't put it with tears. It has to do with the bedeckening. The bedeckening ceremony is the lowering of the veil. The concept behind it is really simple. It's the idea of separation, the barriers. No matter how connected the two of you have been up to this point in time, from the moment in which you're going to lift up the veil during the wedding ceremony, you're going to remove any barriers between the both of you. And it's also a reminder of that story back in the Torah in which the patriarch ends up marrying the wrong woman. So the rabbis thought it might be a really good idea that before the wedding ceremony, bride and groom should be able to look into each other's eyes and say, this is the right person. So this is what I'd like you to do. Remain seated, just turn instead of facing me, actually face each other and hold hands. And in front of, the, in front of your two witnesses and in front of your parents, family and friends, looking into each other's eyes, I ask you these questions. Groom, as you look into the eyes of your bride, do you know that this is the woman of your heart? the woman of your destiny, the woman that you're willing and ready to share your life with? Most definitely. No, look at yes. her and say it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and bride, looking into your eyes, do you know that this is the man of your heart, the man that you're willing and ready to travel down the path of the road of your life with? Yes. With that in mind, um, Ken, I'd like you to ask you to please rise and gently lower the veil of your bride. Just the top. Okay, have a seat once again. Hold hands and look at each other. Achatenu at hayila alfei revaba, yisimei chalohim tisara rivka rachel v'leya, yivarecha Adonai v'yishmarecha, ya'er Adonai pana v'lecha v'yichunecha, yisa Adonai pana v'lecha, the same Shalom. 
May you be fruitful and prosper. May God make you as Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. May the Lord bless you and guard you. May the Lord show you favor and be gracious unto you. And may you both be blessed with health, with happiness, with true joy. From this time forth and forevermore. And let us all say, Amen, Amen. and Mazel Tov. Mazel tov.